My background is at Ford Motor Company. I was at Ford Motor Company from 1999 until uh, I decided to go racing full-time in 03. We started focusing with Larry Rehagen. I had a lot of success as Rehagen Racing, a number of championships, including uh, an IMSA championship in 2009, team driver and manufacturer championship, and then last year as Ford Motorsports in 2018. My grandpa was a pain body man since I was very little. So I was around cars a lot, so it was natural for me to just kind of like racing. I'm watching my dad race, I found a passion for it. I thought it was really cool. And then being able to actually participate in racing at 12 years old, was uh, I found an, an even more so of a passion for it. Since I was born, I was around cars. When I was eight years old, I cut up my first uh, firewall with a plasma torch. I was around cars since I was really young, so it was just kind of a natural, you're around cars, try racing them, maybe you'll like it kind of a deal, I guess. And it just kind of, uh, my career began in, in the year 2000. I was 10 years old when I discovered my passion for the sport. Uh, my two uncles each raced motorcycles, uh, one on the dirt and one on the pavement. And, and the one that raced the motorcycles on the ash, well, he, he took me to the rental go-kart track for the first time from that day on. It's been a dream and a vision to, to be a racing car driver and to make a career out of it. But looking back through my career, in 2010, I debuted in the America Le Mans series. That's the professional level of sports car racing in North America. I went on to have several pole positions and race wins uh, in the America Le Mans series before it was uh, before its demise in 2013. Now, under the ownership of NASCAR, we have the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Series and the IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge, uh, which is where I've been the last several years. And uh, fortunate to win a few big races. The 10-hour Petit Le Mans was one of them, and that's certainly a highlight as well as uh, finishing on the podium the 12 hours of Sebring. The 2018 is just a blur. I had a lot of success. Four race wins, multiple podiums, I, I lost count. But uh, just a really, really exciting championship race. We came that close. You know, in terms of highlights, it, it's really hard to say. We had so many great races, so many successes, uh, that it's really difficult to put my finger on one. But 2019, really we're just focused on making sure uh, the car's prepared, as we always do. Uh, we've started working on some process things, uh, just the details, the attention to details, because that's what it's going to take to win a championship, the consistency and the execution. So the cars are generally equal. It's the teams and drivers that really make the difference. And, uh, and so that's what we're focused on. We're focusing on the, the process, procedure, and just making the right decisions at the right times. Some would say it's the pinnacle of sports car racing in the world, uh, certainly here in North America. We, we go to great events, uh, some of the best, you know, most you know, world-class circuits. Um, uh, the series has attracted the best car manufacturers, you know, dozens of, of manufacturers are here. You know, we'll, we'll see over a million fans throughout the season. Um, you know, of all, of all generations, there'll be young kids here cheering the cars on and, and looking up to, you know, wanting to be a race car driver. And there'll be, there'll be you know, gentlemen drivers here that, that own these cars and, um, you know, and drive them daily and, and want to come here and cheer on their brand. Again, for sports car racing, this is the place to be.